And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create this famous Ken Burns effect. It's kind of like a documentary effect. You can use still images or footage. Let me just use this image from Unsplash. I'll switch to 16 by 9. And then I have to scale it up a little bit so that it fits the format. And this is our starting point. And now you have this symbol right here. Looks like a diamond. If you hover over it, it says add keyframe. And this is what we want to do. But we want to do it at the start position. So make sure the slider in your timeline is fully to the left. If you click on it, and then drag the slider fully to the right, which is the end position, and you will add another keyframe. So left click on the diamond icon, and then scale it up maybe to 200. And what we have now is an animation. It animates the still image from smaller to bigger, or it scales it up in simple terms. There's a bounding box, but this disappears when you deselect the clip in the timeline. So don't worry about it. Here you can see when I select it, but when we deselect it, it's gone. I go back to the start position and now I use the diamond for the position. So we want to add keyframes here as well. I go to the end of our clip, another keyframe, and now we'll adjust position, left click drag on the preview window, and I can put the person in center. And now the position is also animated. So if I roll the clip, it scales up and adjusts the position. And this is typically this Ken Burns effect that's used in his documentaries, easy to do in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.